Hey, welcome to the video. I want to do a quick one here. We are adding a hot tub here and we have a Siemens panel, a 3040. And I want to show you the difference between the QP and the QT breakers. Uh, this is something not everybody knows and it can be frustrating if you don't know what the difference is. So I'm going to take you in here. So what we have is typically on your panels they'll say like 30 40 that means they are allowed to twin or utilize these quad breakers you know so they're in a sense we can get a little extra that's where you get how you get those extra 10 circuits this is a quad this is a standard two pole they make these that have a two pole load and then two single pole loads. They call those triplexes. And then they make individual one inch breakers that have two individual loads. Those we call tandems or twins, triplexes and quads. So this quad from Siemens is type QT right here, type QT. This Siemens breaker, try and get in here, type QP. So if you're ever in question of what your panel uh, is made for, you have typically stickers on the inside of the cover right here. And in this list right here, it talks about branch breakers. And you know, you can QP, QT, QAF, QAF2s, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and then what the ratings are for them. I'd like to bring your attention down to here where it's showing basically a one line diagram of the bussing in the panel. And that's the metal parts that the breakers attach to right here. That metal part there is energized. And that's what these slide onto and how the breaker is energized. So down here on the one line, it shows these really doubled up lines. So it shows that you got one, two, three, four, five slots on each side that you can utilize uh, farthest away from the main lugs coming in or the load coming in uh, sorry the line side from load side of meter coming in these lugs up here boom so what they're saying is these one two three four five breakers here the bussing is made a little different now i'm gonna try you can see it's got kind of a uh, sticks out there's like a little tip on the breaker trying to get that there it is so what that is, the difference between the QT and the QP, if you set them side by side, let me try and get a light on them. You can see that the QT is up top. Uh, let me see where I can set these. So the QTs up top are this opening doesn't go back as far as this opening does. See? So if you try and put a QT breaker anywhere in this panel that doesn't have that little tip, it's not going to fit. It's not going to fully engage. Because it's designed that way so you can't twin up the whole panel and overload it. This panel has been tested. So you put this, again, this is the QT. It clips in and engages fully with the busing. So sometimes you run into these things and nobody ever explains it to you. Sometimes you got to learn the hard way. I've seen contractors actually break out the uh, casing of the breaker right where it clips onto the bus in order for it to fit. Now, I do not recommend that. You cannot modify. A listed tested piece of equipment so 
we are coming in here it's not an ideal situation but this is rated and tested to combine two loads i like to give a minimum of 42 space panel typically for anything over 2,000 square feet actually 1500 square feet the cost difference is like 20 30 bucks it does not benefit you to go small you just end up having to do these this breaker cost 40 bucks and these breakers cost like 15 so and we are getting rid of a square d breaker which should not be in a siemens panel at all so all right thanks if you got something from it hit the thumbs up hit the subscribe